Alright, so let's have some fun with these new-ish tools in ZBrush. I'm talking about the thick skin functionality. This can be used for a variety of applications, but here I'll show you guys how to create quick wear and tear with it. I already have another video on wear and tear, slightly longer with older techniques, but let's stick to this one for now. Okay, so first up I have a basic, super basic piece of armor here, and I want to add some wear and tear to it. So let's navigate down to the thick skin menu, it's just here, press shift and click to open it. By the way, shift click will just allow you to have your menus open and stay open without the others closing. After that, let's activate thick skin and then change the slider. The slider basically controls the thickness of the skin we are going to apply to this armor or any object. You'll see the object inflate a little bit or a lot depending on the amount and when you let go it will return to normal. This process is basically capping off the thickness you've selected. And to show you what it actually does, I'm just going to use the clay buildup to push in and pull out with it. And here you can see the thick skin is capping off the distance at both the positive and negative ends. And yeah, that's basically what thick skin does. So now that we know what it does, let's actually use it. So we just have to select thick skin, activate it, slide to an amount you want. And next I'll select the standard brush. And then I'll hold down the space bar and under the alphas I'll select the alpha 07. There's also alpha 23, but that can be a little bit harsh. So you can always experiment, but I'll just stick to alpha 07. Next, I'll select the stroke type. Here, I'll change it to spray. Spray color in this case will behave the same, so either one will do. And before we start, let's go to brush, auto masking and switch backface masking on. This will make sure none of the opposing sides are affected. By the way, make sure to switch this off after you're done because it can be kind of annoying when you don't need it or don't realize it's on. Finally, we can start spraying this on, and at first it looks super messy, but once you've filled an area, you can just hold down Alt to push in, and then use the brush again to kind of control where the wear will be and how much by filling it back in. Now don't forget that you can also adjust the intensity and size of the brush while doing this. And yeah, that's the basic technique here. After that, I'll duplicate the armor just in case, and then switch off thick skin. We don't need it anymore. Then I will store the morph target found under morph target and store morph target. Then I'll use the trim smooth border brush. This is a hidden brush by the way. So press the comma button, select brush and then trim brushes and then finally trim smooth border brush. We'll use this brush to further accentuate the necks and wear on the armor. Here I'm just lightly brushing the edges because they are a little too sharp and I'll also trim a few areas here and there to break the monotony of the thick skin that we were using. Now some of you might want to do this step first and then the spray technique and honestly either one works so it doesn't really matter which one you use first. After this I'll delete and store the morph target again, this time to add even more detail. Here we'll use the dam standard or the orb crack brush. The orb crack by the way is a free custom brush you can download but I'll stick to the standard brushes for this. Here I will just create some scratches and marks. Maybe the armor was stood a dragon claw, this kind of adds story to your armor. I'll then use the clay buildup to push some areas in and pull some areas out. It looks kind of messy right now, but I'll use the morph brush, BMG, to purposefully sculpt these areas. You can also use alphas to quickly get these scratches in, but here I'm just kind of showing you the technique. And then after that, you can kind of use your own discretion with other tools and alphas. And hey, that's about it. Now there are a ton of other ways you could have done this. You could have used the spray plus the trim brush. My older videos cover that. You could have incorporated layers into the mix. I have a video about that as well and you could have simplified some things down as well so on and so forth the list goes on but since we're talking about thick skin that's what i have focused on here and yeah like i said that is pretty much it so like it if you liked it dislike it if you didn't let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section and again you can check out the older video as well just in case you want some more tips and tricks there 